to lesson 14. We will learn about text functions in this lesson. These functions work on only text data. We begin with the left function. This allows you to extract a substring from a string, starting from the leftmost character. The syntax is as shown. The function takes two arguments, string and number of characters. The first argument refers to the string to be considered, and the second argument refers to the number of letters to show. The second argument is optional, and if no number is specified, the function returns only the first letter. In the example shown here, we want to get the first three characters of pencil in cell B4. We begin by calling our function in E4, and then we select B4 as our string argument and specify 3 as our second argument. When we press enter, the function returns PEN because those are the first three characters of pencil. The opposite of the left function is the right function. This allows you to extract a substring from a string, starting from the rightmost character. The syntax is similar to that of the left function and is as shown. The only difference is the function name. Now, let's redo the example from the previous slide using the right function instead. We will get the last three characters of pencil in cell B4. We begin by calling our function in E4, and then we select B4 as our string argument, and specify 3 as our second argument. When we press enter, the function returns CIL, because those are the last three characters of pencil. The mid function allows you to extract a given number of substring from a string. It is similar to the left and right functions, but with mid, you choose the starting point for the extraction. The syntax is as shown. The first argument is the string to be considered. The second is the position to start the extraction from, moving from left to right. And the last specifies how many characters to return. We demonstrate its use in this GIF by extracting three characters from the string in B4, pencil, starting from the second character. To know the number of characters in a cell, we will have to use the len function. len, that is l-e-n, returns the length of a given string. The syntax is as shown. This function takes just one argument, which is the text to return the length of. In our example, we will find the number of characters in cell C4. The function returns 6 because 69.213 has 6 characters. Note that the decimal is a character also. The lower function will convert the text value of a cell to lowercase. The syntax is as shown. The function only takes one argument. Our example converts the contents of B4 to lowercase. The upper function will convert the text value of a cell to uppercase. It is the opposite of the lower function. The syntax is as shown. The example executes the upper function on B4 this time. The proper function capitalizes the first character of the text value in a cell. The syntax is as shown. We demonstrate the use of this function using cell B4. The find function returns the position of a character or string within a longer string. The syntax is as shown. There are three arguments to be supplied to this function. Search for is a character or string to search for. It must be enclosed in double quote if it will be referenced in a cell. If it is a string, it should be the same as it appears in the text to be searched. That means the order and capitalization because find doesn't support partial margin. Text to search is a string to search. It doesn't have to be enclosed in double quotes. Starting at is an optional argument. It specifies the position to start the search from. Keep in mind that spaces count as characters. The replace function deletes a specified number of characters from a particular string, starting from a specified position and then inserts a new string at that position. The syntax is as shown. The first argument is the text string to be manipulated. The second is the position to start deleting the characters from. The third specifies how many characters to remove, and the last is the new string or character 
to replace what was deleted with. In our example, we use replace to change pencil to pen drive. You can think of the substitute function as a combination of the find and replace functions. It searches for a word or character within a string and then replaces some or all occurrences of it with a new string or character. The syntax is as follows. This function takes four arguments, one of which is optional. The text to search argument refers to the string to be worked on. Search for is the character or substring to look for within text to search. Replace with is the new character or characters to use in place of search of. And occurrence number, which is optional, is the number of instances of search for to use replace with in place of. If not specified, the function replaces all instances of the search for argument.